<laughs> Stop by while I pay for my STD. Hmm, understood. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, I was sending a message. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Rain. Rain is lurking. Good for you, man. Thank you for stopping by, though. I appreciate it. How's it going, Jeff? What's up? Oh. Yeah, up the stairs with my stubby legs. Character's got some good fucking fashion is what he's got. I don't think there's any cool gossip going on anymore. So let's just get to it. What the heck is up with the title? Oh, my... <laughs> uh, I, I, I had an interpersonal office relationship and it ended with an STD, Jeff. So I, n I gotta work my butt off in order to pay that off now, along with all of my bills, and it's just redunculous. So before, I wasn't going to help the landscaper, but I did that little side quest uh, earlier, and the guy gave me a book to reduce the amount of uh, my water bill. So I feel as though it's worth it. So I feel so I feel as though this may actually pay off to do something like this. Maybe, we'll see. Yes, I'm talking about in game, Jeff. Talking about in game. Bob whiskey? That's some quality booze. I. That's the last thing I expected to find. Biomet.
Wait, what? I... What? We all saw that, right? That was a biometric safe, and I dragged that into my inventory, yes? I'm sorry, hold on. I'm willing to spend 15 more minutes. I... What? Yeah. What? I have the biometric safe. So... Arf? I am so confused. Yeah, yeah, I'll wait. I was worried. <laughs> I gotcha. It's all good. Lurk, I do not have a... I don't have anything set up for that. Hey, that'll work. You enjoy your lurk, Jeff. Whatever, darling. Did they teach you to knock? Wait, what? Um, I'm sorry, what? I thought I had a... Call Cunningham. Wait. No, that's not right. What am I... Report to Ferguson. Yeah, I'm supposed to report to Ferguson. Why? Why won't you let me report to Ferguson? Let Let me through. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's all it is. I just. Okay. That explains that. Man, I almost fucked up there. Soon safe. Soon. Hi, Ferguson. What are you doing here? Permission... Uh, permission to report in, Comrade Ferguson. I've completed your task. Excellent. Now, if this wise guy doesn't give me every last penny, he's toast. It's a woman. Gender has no bearing on professional character, Evan Redgrave. You've shown me that you're not a complete imbecile like the rest of them. Your next job is to go to the office, collect money, and bring it back to me. What money? How slow can you be? Government money, Redgrave. The money our moronic visitors give to our idiotic co-workers for the good of our great country. Your colleagues already know how much they owe me. If they forget, Rakovich will remind them. Alright, I'll do it. That's the right answer. To the rear, march. Close the door behind you. Jeez, what a fucking prick. He's a goddamn money slut. He is a money slut? What do you want? Magda, Comrade Ferguson has ordered me to collect contributions from my colleagues. Contributions? What contributions? To whom? I don't contribute anything to anyone. That is a blatant lie and slander. Well, contributions to the state on his behalf. Ah, you mean the bribes. Say it straight and stop mumbling. You need to bring an amount that's going to look nice sitting in his safe. Small change won't do. A thousand guild will be fine. Okay. A thousand? From all of my colleagues? I feel dirty. Did you see yesterday's episode? Yes. I have a question. How can Brad love Catherine more than his homeland? It was in a recent episode. It turns out that Brad is a spy for Valverde and came to the country to kill the leader. But then he met Catherine and forgot all about his mission. Ah, I see. It's a pay I haven't seen uh, those older episodes. Don't worry, once a year they show a non-stop 24 hour long recap of all previous episodes. Doesn't that show... Doesn't that sound like heaven? 
in the Vietnam of the Emma, we need to talk. When you last see a doctor? Why? I seem to be having some after effects. What do you mean? It looks like an STD. They taught us how to recognize the symptoms in the army. What? And you think I gave it to you? How could you even think that? What else am I supposed to think? Anything but that. Wait a second. Does this mean I'm infected too? You pig, you piece of shit. Hi, Emma. Comrade Ferguson asked me to remind you that you owe him something. I can take it to him. We're not so close that I trust you to take anything to Comrade Ferguson for me. Have a good day! Okay. Never mind. Maybe another time. Well, shit. Gotta talk with her one more day. He's apparently thinking about her. Yeah, what do you want? Hi, Marco. Ferguson told me to collect the money. Are you his errand boy now? It's not my place to argue with the boss. There's no arguing with that fat bastard. So what about the money? I don't have any money. We're in a recession, the market is stagnating. Do you even know that term? Go on. I need the safe, Marco. Well, I should be able to get, uh, uh, Dong's money fairly easily. In the meantime, I gotta make a call. The, the Anonymous Trust Service welcomes you, Evan Redgrave. Select the purpose of your appeal. Take part in the competitive environment program? Dear employees, submit your application for a part in the Brave 4 program. Want a promotion? Join three colleagues in a career race and get them to give up. One job, one winner. Get your promotion if you're not afraid of a little... No, thank you. Personal calls from the office phone are prohibited. I have information for the ministry. You made the right choice. Fuck yeah, I got all of the influence. It's wonderful. Yeah, I just want to take down the boss, man. He has earned my ire. Well, what do you want? Did the bouquet impress Emma? I guess. Well, did she like the flowers? I think I screwed up. But did you give them to her? Yes, I put them on her desk in the morning as planned. So what? She just laughed. Laughed or smiled? Well, smiled, but what difference does it make? It's all over. Peter, you're a unique person. If she smiled, it means she likes them. Now ask her out. Are you c c crazy? I'll I'll never have enough n nerve. Let me find you something to boost your confidence. Like what? I don't know yet. We need to find you some good advice or ask around our colleagues. Leave it to me. Maybe someone can help you lower your inhibitions. Here, the boss says you are a little behind on something. The report? It's almost finished, I just... No, Peter, not the report. But it's also made of paper, but smaller in size, with numbers and the portrait of the leader on it. Oh, you mean the bribes. It's all here, down to the last coin. Yes. Where did you bring me? I found the best cure for cowardice. I think that'll do. It'll loosen my tongue, all right, but I still don't know what to say. Oh, I could actually just use my 1,000 influence right now to uh, get the thing. I won't even have to play uh, play the last prank on Dong. Luigi Bay Mama. Let's not use that 350 on you. Let's uh, let's talk with Serena. Buy some cold pies. I made them just three days ago. Serena, do you know where I can buy some other useful things? That carrier page is something for sale. 
There's also a merchant, but he might be hard to find. You me, sir? Do you know where I can find him? He used to work at Six Crucified Saints and then moved past Lu Lightenment Square. Enlightenment? No, Lightenment. The letters on the sign faded out, so they entered it into the register like that. Look for him there. How will I recognize him? You'll know him when you see him. He wears an old-fashioned top hat to make himself more noticeable from afar. You shouldn't have any problems. Oh, that's that's the guy from the first game. Tray with pastries. No, thank you. Hello. I have quite a few useful items for sale. Foreign currency, counterfeit money. Interesting. Well, I should probably use these last six hours for work. Because, boy, do I need it. Get the fuck out of here. I have a report on the pregnancy statistics for clothing factory workers and the effect it has on production and performance. Sorry. This would be information. Hi, Desi. Hi, 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 Desi. How are you doing tonight? And production on performance. This would be labor. 467, it's a Thursday. 467 is closed. 606 is open. There you go, sir. Get out of my life. Hello? My neighbor Rosa Derek is illegally selling perfume that her husband confiscates from smugglers at the border. They call it a custom seized property property sale, but where do the proceeds go? Into their pockets, that's where. This is complete fraud. I read about it in the bulletin from the Ministry of Order. Arrest these criminals. This would be a denunciation, and she specifically says Ministry of Order. I just need the right place. 101 is closed on Thursdays. 404 is open. Hyper? Why are you so hyper, Desi? What did you what did you drink? What did you eat? I was told to bring a statistical reference regarding military service housing for veterans. Here it is. This would be information. Military service housing for veterans. This would be patriotism. 645 is open. Fuck, no, it was the other thing. That would be social service, I think. Social service or social care. I'm a hyper bean. I didn't eat or drink anything. Why are you so hyper then? I have all the required documents to obtain a voucher for a trip to a health resort. Where do I hand them in? This would be a request. He's requesting information. Obtain a voucher for a trip to a health service, health resort. Uh, social care? I believe. 357 is open. Fuck, it was information. It was information. He tripped me up with that last que- with his question. He's a jerk. Except why, because I'm a hydrated girly. I ate my, my crouton bag this morning. Oh. Just croutons? Oh my goodness. Sean Captain, a process engineer at bakery plant number seven, came up with a conveyor belt improvement that saves a lot of working time. First of all, now that the workers have a ton of downtime, they waste on who knows what. And even worse, he won't share his invention with me, even though I'm his supervisor. I demand his arrest for breaking the chain of command and intentionally impending tech no logical process in the field of soft breads. So this is a denunciation on labor? Regulates job placement, so yeah, I would think so. 
154 is open. Hooray! I eat them by themselves. I ate like a half back for lunch, Lamau. Let's go ahead and do some more work. Hello, I work as a caretaker. I brought you the weekly list of crimes committed by the tenants of House Two Biz Entrance Three in the cul-de-sac of Harmonic Development. I've highlighted the ones who should be executed. Oh my goodness! Uh, this would be information. She's bringing us information. This would go to uh, order. Room one is closed. Five twenty-five is open. I ate like a half bag. Desi, you, you can't live off of just croutons. Yeah, off of just croutons. Hello there, I work as a sailor at the local post office. A what? An envelope sailor. I sealed them after the letter's been read by the censor. By licking them, I should say. And some clowns have been adding chili pepper extract to the envelope glue. Now my tongue is swollen. I can't work like this. Find them and give them a taste of their own peppers. This would... This would be a complaint. Labor? Beat, kill, steal, or cause any kind of harm to others except... Would this be considered a type of harm? I am so unsure. Regulates job placement, safeguarding of working, safeguarding of working conditions. There it is. So labor. Two twelve is open. I have four by four from in in and out from in and out. How was it? It's been a little bit since I last went to in now. I would really like to get some uh, a burger from there, though. I'm not sure what it is, but I've just been on, like, a year-long burger crave. I, I think it's because I don't get enough, like, protein or something. I don't know. I think I'm just dying, and I really want a burger before I die. I don't know. I took in a boy from the streets yesterday. He's very... I like this guy. He's got a mutton stash. You can barely see it, but he's got a mutton stash. He's very weak, starved, sick, thin as a rake. I live alone, my wife is dead, my son is at war. I can't care for the kid. How can I get him into an orphanage? Uh, this guy's requesting information, and this would be social care. Yeah, they take care of citizens from birth till death. Uh, 390, no. 769 is not open. 890 is not open. 919 is open. Hooray! It was very filling. Nice. I crave meat a lot even though I hate it. What they got about my day? I brought the minutes of the work <laughs> workers meeting at mine mine number seven after receiving complaints about some of their behavior. They'd set up an after hours fight club. I guess he's brought information. And this would be labor. 647 is closed. 871 uh, is closed. 950 is open. Damn it, it was order. Makes sense. Me. <laughs> I recently bought some new mascara. It said. Says on the package that it's specially formulated from used machine oil and gunpowder residue. I like to find out how to remove it. This would be a request of the science and technology. 
70 is closed, 390 is closed, 432 is closed, 647 is closed, 890 is closed. You'll just have to deal with it, lady. Hi. Please give me a permit to host a party at our House of Culture to mark the anniversary of the beginning of the war. You're going to celebrate the beginning of the war? Where would we be now if it wasn't for the war? We'd be rotting like the South Boreans. This is a request of the culture and sports. 78 is closed, 279 is open. For me, according to the internet, your gay heart? <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't read, uh, okay, I don't have anything. So let me see. Two more hours of this. Me, my wife, and our three kids have nowhere to live. What happened to your previous residence? I sold it to pay a debt. What debt? Cards. I'd like to apply for a new apartment. This is a request. This would be for social care, I suppose. Zero one is open. I'm getting good at this. To report that my neighbor has too much living space in our building manager, Oscar Morel, has done nothing about it. I've already, it's already been two weeks since my neighbor's wife and three kids got run over, and there's still nobody living in their rooms. This is a denunciation. Uh, I guess this would be social care. It's buying a public order violations, uh, beat, kill, steal, or curb. Yeah, I guess it would be social care. 390 no, 717, yes. Yeah! A lot of these are just kind of, uh, I guess it's this. But I am... I, I'm getting pretty, pretty good at this. I'm here to hand in a couple forms with the latest results of the Factory Football Championship. Seventy-eight. No, four. Four is a yes. Damn, I'm good. Look at all of this respect I'm getting. Hello, I have a catalog of clothes design designs developed by our tailor shop for employees of the Ironworks. There's everything in there from underwear to hard hats. Uh, this will be information. For employees of the Ironworks? I believe this would be labor then. 467 is closed, 606 is open. Office 404 couldn't be found. Oh, she's gonna have a hard time then. She's never coming back. <laughs> Listen, it's labeled it's labeled in the computer, but it never actually exists. I have a complete register of the newborn town district. What should I who should I hand it over to? This would be uh, to the social care. Three fifty-seven is open. Man, I'm good. Oh, that's it. I'm done working for today. Okay, I'm gonna have to watch one more episode and talk with her about it in order to get her friendship.
Morris hates me. Uh, Serena don't care. Magda don't care. James Cunningham don't care. Landscaper don't care. Peter Dong, uh, not my friend. Marco Legrand is my friend, though. I gotta work on Peter Dong. I gotta work on Peter's Dong. That was new. I'm gonna search these, uh, carts folder. The header says it's from the archive. You should give it to someone. Biometric safe, Rick Graves. How to save state property. New skill, picking crossbar locks. It really is worth it to search these things. Nice. Okay, let's see. And then this one, ah, there was, oh wait. That's because it's already been searched. Aha. But this one over here, hath it been searched? No. And there was nothing. Which is sad. I'm very upsetty spaghetti now. I think tomorrow when I show up, I'm just gonna be for here and search <coughs> that. Oh, kazoon tight to me. Sorry about that. No. Oh. I'm actually really hurt. Desi. It does burn. It actually does kind of burn, though. <laughs> like, like, because of the way that I sneeze, it's very coffee as well, so uh, there's a slight burning in my throat now, so that's fun. Small girl. Who's there? It's a guy with a mutton stash. I immediately trust him. Good evening. Hello, how can I help? My name is Casper Pullman. I'm the manager of this building. Here's my ID. My name is Evan Redgrave, and I've already talked to the manager. What was his name? Simon Veloy? Simon Veloy? That old drunk from the third floor, manager? That's what he said. And he probably asked you for money. Yes, for the overhaul fund. That scoundrel. If you see him again, chase him away and let me know. I'll deal with him. I didn't know. Thanks for the warning. But let's get down to business. As the building manager, I have to familiarize you with the rules of the tenancy. Yes. So, Evan, you live in the building for civil servants. It is forbidden to make noise, litter, keep pets, and lock the doors. Lock the doors? Well, how else can I check that you're following these rules? Anything else? So, here are about a hundred... So there are about 150 points here, but I can see that you're an intelligent person and can read them yourself. By the way, you will face immediate eviction if you break the rules. I understand. And don't forget to pay your bills. And turn off the tap. And switch off the lights. Goodbye. I'm so depressed now. Fucking phone! This is random. What is? Hello, dear. It's so nice to finally hear your voice. Sorry, darling. I've had so much work. How are things going for, with the new job? Everything is great. I sit in the ministry, process visitors, shuffle papers around. Have you found anything out about your father? I'll tell you when I see you. I won't be coming soon, dear. But I understand that it's not a conversation for the telephone. 
Just do what you have to. Everything is good with the two of us. So glad to hear that. Could you say it again? We're fine, Evan. We don't need anything, and everything's calm and ready. Focus on your work, dear. I know this is important to you. So, tell me about the apartment. Do you like it? You'll like it. Three large rooms, a bed, a TV, and a bookcase, a bookcase and a kitchen. Okay, we'll finally have our own room. I really want to see you. So do I. I have to go now. Hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you first. No, you. Hang up. No, you hang up. No, you first. No, you. Okay. I got called James Cunningham. Your bulk tire? The term for a tire whose threads have worn out is a bald tire. I'm not bald. I... I talked to my colleagues about Ferguson. And what did you find out? Nothing unusual. They didn't mention anything that could be used against him. Keep watching. We need to find a good reason to arrest him. Submit the information via the report lines. You could do with some more authority. Okay. Let's see my bills for the day. Eating payment. STD treatment bill. Collection to help the national soccer team. Electricity payment. You want to be bald? I can't raise that. My face is now bald. I don't know. Building manager fee. Penalty for immoral behavior in the workplace. Stupid, stupid, stupid. 1550 minus 800. That would put me at 1750, right? We'll save that for... Fuck, no. We'll, we'll take care of it. There. That part's done. 1720 for everything else. We still have time, though. We don't have to go dealing with that just yet. Let's go ahead and watch uh, the Passion of the Leader TV show. So now I can go become friends with, uh, what's their face? Is your face bald, Desi? I haven't seen it in a while. Uh... Only two hours to get this. Uh, I'll go ahead and read Universal Advice for tonight. Because it only takes two hours for that. There's no reason for making progress on it if it only takes two hours. A stranger. Excuse me? Yes. You work for the ministry, right? That's right. How did you know? Nothing special. I'm just professionally observant. Uh, you work with Marco Legrand, right? Uh, uh, give him this envelope. Lope is very important. Sure, I'd be happy to help. There's nothing prohibited in there, right? No, no, of course not. Just a friendly note. Nothing prohibited. What suspicious person? What should I do with this um, envelope? The grand will skin me alive if I open it. I'm not his courier either. Especially if I'm being used and kept it in the dark. Guys, do we do it? Does he also send me a pic? <laughs> I, I so want to open it. This is so... Mm. We aren't the goody two-shoes. We gotta get ahead in life. I can't take a risk. I should see what's inside. Marco, we have a problem. Our channel's been cut off. The idiot that got this stuff into the ministry got caught. 
Think of a way. Get the pills through security. Think fast. It was for Marco. Give the envelope to... It gets me 350 cash. I might as well open Pandora's box. It wasn't all that Pandora-y. Hell, all hell did not break loose, so I think we're okay. For now. I need 800 mun muns, so I'm unsure if I'll actually be able to go search that pie counter. At least, not right now. Maybe later. I don't really care about those guys. I really don't care about those guys as it is. I like running through all of the rooms in the morning. I gotta make sure that nothing new is going on. So let's go talk with Selena first. Or sorry, Emma, not Selena. Wow, what a surprise twist. I wonder what's going to happen next. Don't worry, Evan. It's just the character's storyline has ended. They'll introduce some, some new ones and everything will be just like it was before. Scandal, intrigue, investigations, love, but the leader will always come to the rescue. I see. That's great. Evan, thank you for these little chats. I feel like we've become friends. I wish people would do that with me in real life. Just say, yes, we are friends. It's like, oh, thank goodness. I don't... No pressure on me anymore. Hey, Emma. Comrade Ferguson asked me to remind you that you owe him something. I can take it to him. Aren't you ashamed to be taking money from girls, Evan? <laughs> Here it is. What's new? Nothing to brag about, Evan. I'm sure I'm money all the time and my mother is always pestering me about the children. I don't know what to do. Do you have children? Yeah, two boys. Have you got any ideas? Maybe I'll find a place for my children. I'm not a good mother. I haven't given up on the idea of marrying someone in the ministry, but the future is so uncertain. She should find a husband. I love you, we friends. It's friends, firmed. I can't, I can't date it, friends. There we go. You got it, Desi. We are friends, man. And also orange. Oh, thank you guys. You, you, I, you have reaffirmed that we are indeed friends, and now I feel confidence again. So I got distracted and forgot I was doing something until I looked at chat and, ho and remembered. I read that as homebrewed. <laughs> remembered is, uh, translates to homebrewed in my mind. I like your idea of looking for a husband. If he's rich, he can support you and your children. I'm still eyeing up your, our colleagues, but I wouldn't bet on that option. You're married and the rest aren't exactly Prince Charming. Emma, why do you hide that you have kids? My husband died in the war when I was pregnant with our second. I left them at the farm when some, with some relatives and came here as a way to support them. Once I save up enough money, I'll move them to the city. But please don't tell anybody, anyone about this or I'll never get a promotion. Are you happy with your salary? Stupid question. Are you? Well... Same well for me. I slave away, but I get paid peanuts. I have to ask Magda Rakovich for extra work just to make ends meet. You know what surprises me? You're young, beautiful, and smart. How come you have problems with men? They're the ones who have problems with me. <laughs> no, but seriously. Why do you care? Yes, I'm young, beautiful, and smart, but no one has asked me to marry them. Only looking for a husband then? You know, I may be young, but I'm not a teenager sleeping around for fun. 
I want to marry a person I love and quit this job to take care of my children at home. A normal enough wish, don't you think? I agree. Tell me about your children. You know, I prefer not to talk about them. Why? Who wants a single mother with two kids? Besides, you know the directive on increasing the birth rate? A woman with two children must stay at home, even if she starves to death as a result. Emma, I won't tell anyone, I swear. Alright then. I have two lovely babies, Tommy the eldest and my little angel, Ainry. They're the image of their father. It's a pity they'll never see him again. Everything I do here is for them. I'd wade through oceans of mud for my children without bang an eye. Huh. Am I you alright? Fine, I'm just exhausted. I'd do some reports at home. What hurts most is that Magda just threw them onto the pile without even opening them. Either she trusts me, or they don't matter. Or at least I get paid for them. I'm super hyped for the Ravnica game. Me too, I, I am really excited to play my character. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yep, and uh... Oh goodness. Uh, well, what is now today, uh, get to go to a movie party over with uh, Opelt. It's going to be fun. I, w I wish you lived around this area, Jeff. We would we would totally invite you. Um, so how is it working for the ministry? I've only been working here for half a year. I prepare documents while write reports, collect statistics. I see. Oh, the, that one. Someone sent me flowers recently. I'm sure it was him. Red Rose is my favorite. George helped me out on my first day. I was just so surprised. He seemed like such a nice guy. And now he's gone for good. Nice guys don't have it easy these days. Nice guys like George even more so. Why? He was too damn nice. Loved his wife and kids. Helped everyone. Lent people money till payday. Didn't meddle. Didn't scheme. He knew how to listen. Made you feel at ease, you know? Not really. Why would you? You're a man. But women can sense that. He was just... good. I don't know how to explain it. Did he ever get into trouble with the ministry? Trouble? He was always the perfect employee. They held him up as an example for the rest of us. Do you have any enemies at work? It's surprising for our little viper's nest, but no. George managed to stay friends with everyone, even with Legrand. He's a complete asshole. What was he punished for? I don't fully understand, or rather, I do. You heard it you all yourself, but I don't believe it. But the ministry is never wrong. I guess I'm a bad judge of character. Um, gonna hold off on reporting that stuff. Peter Dong, play with the Dong's feelings. Play with the Dong. Oh, what you want? Marco, someone asked me to pass this envelope on to you. Here it is. You opened it, then you know all about my business. Wanna work together? Tell me. Alright, man. There are these substances that relieve fatigue and make people cheerful. They aren't what you'd call legal, but they're highly effective. There's a demand here. These people are working themselves to death. My deal is outside, my customers are inside, and the entrance guards are between them, got it? No? Bring the stimulants into the ministry. But how do I bring them inside? You figure it out. 
Make a deal with someone and try it yourself. If you're not a coward, but I'll pay you well. So you kind of deal with someone? Or... I need some time, man. Okay, okay. I'm gonna do this. I see absolutely no problem with bringing drugs into a government workplace. Oh, yeah, I gotta bring that money to the boss. Ugh. For once, I actually felt as though I'd have no problems. I found the folder. Give it to me. I'll take care of it and find out who lost it. He'll rue the day he was born. If you find something like that in the future, bring it directly to me. Do not show it to anyone. Don't look inside. It will be safer for the both of us. Got it. I'll do that. Uh, thank you. I'll just have a quick look at this here computron. Maybe one day I'll finally stop looking five. Aw. Aw. Grave of Amelia Claridge, my only daughter. Aw. Uh, Pete Ferguson. Magda, I demand an urgent increase in the collection of undocumented income from the staff of my floor. Come up with some kind of reward for slaves. Arrange a competition between employees with an award of unscheduled work. Or scare them with unscheduled work. I don't care. The main thing is that by the end of the month, each employee should have exceeded their quota by at least double. Comrade Rakovich, the monthly routine inspection of the cameras has been completed. Here's the report. Open space, no faults detected. Comrade Ferguson, reception in his office, no faults detected, no cameras. Submit a request to the security department to install cameras if you need them. Emma Hazer. You have forgotten me again. Oh, yeah. You have forgotten me again. Uh. Tiamox Orphanage. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for helping us at H House of Misfits number 207 1. You just saved us. Without your help, our children would have nothing to eat but turnips. We hope you will continue to support us as we don't exist in the eyes of government. And they have stopped funding us. Thanks again. Fred, thank you for the invitation. Unfortunately, I will not be able to share in your and Olga's big day. Perhaps you've forgotten, but this day is a day of mourning for me. It's only been five years since I lost the two people closest to me. One taken by death, another by the system. Congratulations on the upcoming wedding. All the best to you, Magda R. Aw. She's actually not as bad as, as people think. That's sweet. No, I'm fat. Shut up, you two. I'm the fat one. You guys are fat, spelled P-H-A-T. Number Ferguson, how did Operation Secret Visitor end? We caught the thief. We caught one rat and sent a message to the others. About your task, boss. Did you get lost in the bathroom or something? Where's my money? I mean, the state's money. That's all of it. 1,000 coinage. 1,000 dosh. Great. I do love round numbers. Give it here and let's talk. Do you think that we bosses have an easy red grave? Not at all. That's some small-minded thinking. You're stu- That's some stupid thinking. You're stupid. You're not the one that weighs 340 pounds? Yeah, details. I weigh at least half of that. Except, I don't, actually. I weigh almost half of that. So shush. Who would win? One orange or one desi? Go fight him for the number one not cutie. I'm gonna... Um... I, I think... I think orange would win. 
Don't look at me like that. We're just people like you. Better than you, of course, but like you. And you know, everyone needs to have a bit of fun sometimes. Nothing fancy, some wings, some hot dogs, the strongest moonshine you can get your hands on. I've got some fancy booze, enough to get the whole ministry good and merry. But I could do with something simpler, something more salt of the earth. Why are you just sitting there? Look at me like a schoolgirl admiring the leader? Is there something you're not understanding? Your boss wants to have a good time. Make it happen. Oh, sir, Comrade Ferguson, as you wish. Damn straight. What are you still standing around for? Get out of my sight. No frills, alcohol, and cheap food, huh? <laughs> well, might as well. Nothing. I suppose those things either refill every day or at least change, I'm not sure. Get out of my way, Peter! Hey, Peter! Get the fuck out of my way! That statue had a mutton stash, it makes me happy. Is that allowed? It is indeed allowed, Desi. Question for you. Say, so what's the penalty for taking prohibited items into the building? Is it possible to take prohibited items into the building? But still, suppose I asked you to smuggle something in, how much would you find me? A fine for bribing an official, a fine for violating the rules, plus my partner's cut. How big is his cut? Ask him yourself. He hasn't been at work for several days. And that doesn't bother you? Working around the clock isn't good. Find out what happened to him, then we can discuss your business. I'll stop at his place and check on him. Merzis, number 10. That's the address. Find out what's going on and come back. Goodbye. Let's go ahead and search this. Nothing. There's never fucking anything! Um, I'm an illegal item, smuggle me. Oh my. So I need eight, ooh. That's a good point. I need 800 by the end of today. So I should at least work until I have that. At least. Anything new? No? Okay. My neighbor, Demir Katapidi, didn't stand for the national anthem at a recent football game. Denunciation, this would be a matter of patriotism. Uh, is a Friday. 154 is open. Haha. <laughs> it's smug. Sm smuglu? Smuglu. Okay. I did know you're hyper, Desi. Hello, I am a veterinary, and I've noticed that cows that listen to the latest speeches demonstrate a sharp increase in milk production. Pigs give birth to more piglets. And sheep's wool becomes softer and silkier. I would like to pass these observations on to the Ministry of Science. They might be of use to the Ac Academy of Agriculture. This will be information, science, and technology. Somebody is open. Uh, 
Hi there. I have a little kitty, Agatha. I let her out yesterday and someone tied a can to her tail. The poor little thing got scared and ran so fast that she crashed into a shop window and broke it. I only just managed to catch her again and she's still in the shop. Please catch whoever tied that can to her and punish them as the war criminal that they are. Towards an injustice or violation of his or her rights or interests, the law or the norms of behavior. They also identify the culprit, the culprit's name slash surname. But she did not identify them, so I think it's a request. You shouldn't be hyper, Desi. I'm wondering how you still are. This would be a matter of... Order? This is a really confusing one to me. Nope, it was a... Was a complaint? Okay, whatever. Hey, Ox, how's it going? Probably about to pass out, but I missed you, so what's up, Duke? Lol. Um, not much. Just, you know, doing my thing. Uh, wait, uh, I'm excited for today because I'm going to a party, so that's going to be fun. Uh, if you're ever missing me, Ox, feel free to, feel free to shoot me a message anytime. I don't bite. At least I try not to. I try really hard. I'm just always like that. I have information about the distribution of mining college graduates. Who should I give it to? He has information of mining college graduates, so this would be a matter of labor. 212 is open. Well, ha cha cha. I should text you more often. Yeah, again, feel free. Yeah. yeah, I'm just like, every so often, I, you know, I, I try and keep in touch with everyone that I can, but every so often, I just kind of forget about it, you know? My co-worker, Jacqueline Tall, always closes the window, and I can't work when it's so stuffy. I faint several times. Punish her, or at least ban her from closing the window. This would be a denunciation, because she used a, a name. Um, I guess this would be labor, so she did manage work, uh, mention working. 467 is open. Oh man, so there's a lot of kisses going on in chat. Far too many, if you ask me. Okay, well, I got my 800. So that's nice. Uh, I really want to search that fucking pie thing. Working with Terminals Volume 2. Hacking Homeland Terminals? Biometric safe. We're finding a lot of these the biometric safes. I'm wondering if I just need to grab like a specific amount and then I'm good. It's 115. Oh no, he has... Oh, okay, I see. One kiss for you, Miss. Oh, thank you. I'm followed by accident. I've done that several times before, Ox. I've done that several times before, and I've got, I've gotten shit on so many times for it. I know exactly how you feel, and it's all good. Don't worry about it. Feedback. Uh. I will leave positive feedback. 
I've left feedback. And we can, we can give you kisses too, Duke. Oh my goodness. You two, you two are scandalous. Uh, saying, uh, talking about giving me kisses. Scandalous. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. How do I sub from mobile? I have no clue. I've never done it before. It should it should be along the same lines as doing it uh, normally. I'm not sure though. James Cunningham. How is the investigation going? Parkinson isn't very talkative, especially when I ask about my father. I recently learned that Ferguson is putting together some kind of party. It's not easy to get in. No one knows what goes there. A boring ministerial meeting to report all the work he's been done that's been done. Possibly. It's a good opportunity to get some valuable info out of Ferguson. I can't get into the an event like that, so I want you to install a camera. I need to know what's going on in there. Or will I get a camera? Talk to the, your building manager, or security. Install the camera in Ferguson's office and pass it on to me after the party. I want to give you my free one. I can't find the button. <laughs> Maybe you can only do it on desktop? I have no clue. Maybe. In your phone's browser. And then go on, sir. How do you know that he has surveillance cameras? If he doesn't have any cameras, then they're all already in your apartment. Why would security give me a camera? Because every employee is allowed a camera for observing their colleagues. Why can't you just give me a camera? What a stupid question, Evan. The fewer links there are between us, the lo lower the likelihood of you getting caught. Fair enough? Who is at the door, me wonders? The guy with a big old beard. Evan Redgrave? Yes, and you are? Your friends sent us. They want to help us deal a crushing blow to the bureaucracy. Is this some kind of joke? What friends? What blow? What are you talking about? We've been watching you for a long time. Have you heard of the new tomorrow? A new tomorrow? Those people who fight the great leader? Oh yes, they w want to paint us as murderers, terrorists, and leader haters. But we're fighting against oligarchy, bureaucracy, and human rights violations. Evan is a cute name. You think so? Do we have any oligarchs? See, we're doing our job. What blow to the bureaucracy are you talking about? We're going to blow up the new wing of the ministry building. When it opens, thousands of new bureaucrats will start working there, and we won't be able to get in the way of their work without harming people. We're not animals, Evan, and we don't kill people for nothing. So we need to blow it up now. We're still empty. What do you need? We need to meet our man in the ministry to give him the microchip and password that activate the bomb. Or should I do this? Do you like the uncontrolled growth of the bureaucratic apparatus and the simultaneous strengthening of the totalitarian functions? Honestly, your plans aren't so great either. We can pay you as well. Three thousand! Three thousand! Every time I click switch to desktop mode, it opened in my app. Rip. I'll do it tomorrow for my comp. Okay, that's fine, Ox. No worries. I'm not in any rush to... I'm not in any rush, yeah. I'm cute. That was for me from me. I'm glad that you are training yourself so well, Desi. A plus for trying, though. 
am I about terrorism? No, I am an upstanding citizen who only is willing to fuck up his, uh, his, his, uh, co-workers. I'm not going to blow anything up, no matter how much you pay me. Hot times are kind of decisive action. I don't care. I get out of my home or I'll call the police. Don't say that, Evan. We could be of some help to you. Get out. I'll hail the leader. I'll hail the leader. Hoity toity toity. Guards partner, three hours, oh boy. Okay, let's go meet up with this guards partner. <laughs> so much love for Desi. Dirty streets, shaded characters in the doorways, and the overbearing stench of poverty. The guard's home is located on the very outskirts of the city. Signs of repair work indicate that the owner is trying to look after the place. You stop in front of a cracked but still sturdy oak door. Scratching, you knock on the door. Scratching the belly under his t-shirt, a huge unshaven man opens the door. Despite his menacing appearance, he looks friendly and gestures you in. It's a little damp inside. There are bottles and cigarette butts everywhere, and the smell of poverty hangs in the air. A few short cropped children's heads look out from the back room, but immediately hide. I'm here looking for a possibly dead man. I have a cult. Like, legit, if I pulled all my cult members together, I could start a real religion? You probably could, Desi. It would probably be bigger than my following on Twitch. <laughs> as soon as you mention the guard who sent you, the man begins to frown and grind his teeth. He says he's not going to help that jerk and that he can kiss his... Well, apparently he's not in the mood for a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Use some influence to ask some more details. A little push was all it took to get the man to tell you everything. Before becoming a security guard, he worked as a debt collector for a local gangster. When his boss was killed, he got a job in security and started selling confiscated items to pay off his card debts and buy booze. Everything was going well until his new partner found out about it and threatened to tell everything. So he had to return to his usual line of business, kicking in debts out of poor bastards. And if his former partner sent someone else to him, they would regret it. You thank him for the information and leave the building. Well. Graham story, but I posted some thoughty snaps on my Snapchat because I'm in love with Kai from K-pop group EXO. I was just posting photos of him with my thoughty ass captions. <laughs> this guy replied that with, and was like, I could do that for you. And I was like, don't even put yourself in the same category as him. <laughs> Boys think they can take the spots of my mans. Oh boy. Swerve, bitch. Wait, what? Wait. I... No, I did pay that. Yes. I need to pay the heating bill, though. 250, 450, 4, uh, 450, and that would be, th that would actually be 520, I can go ahead and pay that off right now. There we go, I'm a day ahead. Honestly though, I'm the thighs of the thoughts, so like attention is attention. Oh my goodness. I have time to watch any of this. I'm too tired. I have no time anymore. Okay, so... I have to learn how to pick locks sooner or later. Would definitely be nice, I say.
telling some poor guys chat NSFW for three straight hours. Not you, dude. Not you're not a poor guy. I, I mean, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't care otherwise. Your chat is about titties 99% of the time. Is it? Big titty energy. Who you are. Your partner er, has some complaints about how you treat him. You should probably be softer with him. Call him. I see. Will you help me get something for Ben to the ministry? We'll arrange a drill. Oh, do it. Let them try and catch me. How can I get a surveillance camera? Were I a request to the security department, they will give you one. A thousand? Oh boy. Biggest of the titties. <laughs> Big books? Oh yeah. Like dick shenaries? God damn it, Ox, you uh, you 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 know what? I'm I'm in a good mood. <laughs> you have placed me in a really good mood. Huge thick books. Just like those. I'll go ahead and listen in on this shit. I got time for once. Then we'll walk around the office empty handed. Take a folder with you, some papers. It doesn't matter what. Why? They find anyone who doesn't have papers. Sillies. Listen. I'm listening. I've had a lot of bad dick recently. You will have to tell me about this, Ox. I apologize for your experiences as of late. Though I do admit that it's, is not, it has nothing to do with me, but I am still sorry for it. I need Desi energy to growl in the critique. <laughs> but Desi is super duper gay. What you want? About the stimulants. So did you cut a deal with someone? Or just decide to do the job yourself? I arranged everything with the guard at the entrance. Good, we'll discuss it tomorrow. Go on. Have a nice day. And you. Ooh. That sets me up with some good ass cash. Some really good ass cash. I'll perform a dick dance for you to summon the dick to rain down on you. I don't know what I'm reading anymore. So we buy some snacks for Ferguson. We bought the snacks for Ferguson. I'm gonna do at least uh, probably four hours of work. That should that should put me with a pretty good amount. And then I'll uh, head off in order to uh, see what because I got a lot of shit that I gotta do. Luigi Bay Mama on the Messi in the King. Currency 999. Hawthorne Tincture? Why is it 299? This bothers me. You're reading Desi. That about explains everything. What the fuck is Hawthorne Tincture? Can someone Google this for me? I'm curious. Thought you would have been used to it by now, gosh. Yes, but I have to feign surprise when I'm streaming at Desi. Gosh. You should you should realize this by now. There's a billboard on the main avenue with a quote from the leader. Glory to all that benefits us, whatever it may be. If you stand on the opposite side of the street, it reads, Ebyam T. Revetra Sustenfeneb. Tat la ot 
you're all good. It distorts the meaning of this glorious phrase. All traffic on the, that side of the road must be outlawed immediately. All the traffic has to be outlawed? Really? Nah, Desi, feel free, feel free to do whatever you want here. I don't care. God bless this booty of the Lord. Uh, this would be a request of patriotism, I'm pretty sure. It's a Saturday. 279 is open. Damn it! Fuck! It was a complaint. Hi, I work at the Institute of Radiology. I'd like to inform you that Professor Magda Caval... Cavalera spends all day working with radioactive materials, then just goes home without anybody stopping her. So what's the problem? She's stealing the radiation she's exposed to at work. I measured it myself. She's lit with, uh, lit up like a chunk of uranium. That's not good. Exactly. We can't let her get out of the lab. Every atom counts. Do something at once. Denunciation, and this would be a situation for labor. I. No, this would be order. Because she's stealing. 301 is not open. 525 is open. What the fuck you mean it's science? She was stealing! What's with the title of the stream? Oh yeah, basically, uh, basically early on, yeah. I got an STD in game and I had to pay for it. Stop being a hoe? Or maybe the lady I slept with should have been a hoe. Something. I'm, I'm passing the blame onto her. I'm mister, I need a job. I could be a courier, a rat catcher, a janitor. I really need a job. My sister got hit by a car and we really need money. This is a request of labor. 647 is open. What a mood. It's all my fault? Stop it! Stop ganging up on me! I'm sorry! <laughs> At all honesty, I was hoping to be like, hey, go wait inside the storeroom closet. And I was hoping to send uh, Dong over there so that he could unzip his pants, show her his massive Dong, and then he'd get fined. And it would be an amazing joke. But no, instead, the game gave me no choice and I had to sleep with her. Do I go for a walk? Yeah, go for a walk. Oh, seven degrees outside? No, maybe not. Did anyone else's audio cut out for, or just me? I don't know. Me and my kids were allocated an apartment on Prosperity Street, but when we got there, it was already occupied. They won't let us in. I'm a decorated blood donor. My blood flows the, through the veins of thousands of soldiers. And what am I supposed to do now? Keep my kids under my skirt or something? Sort this out. be a complaint on the social on social care I believe get the fuck out of here you stupid pop-up if you four inside your house that's awful I believe this will be a uh, social care. Can't imagine what else it would be. Uh, 301 is closed. 390 is open. Hooray! Barring your weather. You should take the weather from where I live. I'm gonna go to Mazada, buddy. 
so I go for a walk and then come back and play Subnautica. Sounds like a plan. Subnautica is a pretty good game. Okay. Just stay safe, Jeff. It's getting dark out there. You got... It, it is dark out there. Make sure you take a flashlight and a knife with you. Please do charge your phone before walk. I'm here to report a theft. Go on. Daniel Blackcliffe, Blackcliffe stole the best years of my life. I'm sorry, but what is the ministry supposed to do about that? The best years of my life is a novel I've been working on for the past five years. He published it under his own name. And I know for a fact that Directive Number 8696 bans plagiarism. I need the best years of my life back. I'm begging you. This would be a denunciation. She's asking for order. 301 is closed. 404 is open. What? Oh, wait. It would be cult... Well, I guess it, I guess it does have to do with culture, but he stole. I don't understand anymore. Stupid phone. Uh, what was going on, Ox? And also, hi, Beauty Pie. How's it going? How you doing today? What you up to? Let's go ahead and work another two hours. I live near the weapons factory. Some small people regularly meet me, meet up on the wasteland behind the building and fly kites. Small people? Do you mean children? They might be children, but they could also be spies from South Borea pretending to be children so that they could take photos of the factory. Boreans are small, aren't they? I demand that you detain them all. This would be a complaint, I believe. And this would be of... Well, he's saying that they're spies, which is something that the Ministry of Order deals with. 301 is closed. 357. It's closed. 871 is closed. So we just have to reject, yeah. My girlfriend got me back into Pokemon Girl Go. I didn't even know you had a girlfriend, Jeff. Good for you, though. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, Beauty Pie. Thank you for asking. Everyone's been so nice today. Everyone. Everyone. What are you people planning? I don't have any money if that's what you're wanting. Like hardcore playing to never opening the Really? Oh, is, oh, is, but, uh, you mean Bugaboo, Jeff? I didn't know. I just thought you two were really close friend, friendos. They've literally been dang for like ever. I thought they were just really close friendos. Listen, things go over my head far too easily. I am dunce. I, I am Dunce Merle. I am very, very bad at realizing these things, okay? I am the last person to learn about every freaking relationship. No, no. Jeff is dating Lily. I just learned this now. I... I am always the last one to learn these things. I'm a go. It's all good, Ox. Just... Again, feel free to message me whenever, Ox. You do your thing, okay? Hello, I have the results of our latest patriotism pill poll. Patriotism poll? Yes, we want to find out whether our citizens were willing to die for if the leader commands it. And how did it go? Very well, some of the respondents didn't even need to answer verbally. They just went ahead and did it. Oh, dang. This is information. This would be, uh, I mean, it's a patriotism poll, so it deals with patriotism. One, five, four is open. We've been together five months now, lol. Never knew. 
I just thought you guys were super good friends. I only started talking with her, what, like, this month. So even... <laughs> I'll talk with you enough, Jeff, so... Especially about personal things. I'm very bad about that, so I had no clue. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm just embarrassed. Uh, no need to be embarrassed. Again, I'm the last one to figure these things out. I'm terrible. Excuse me, I'm trying to find out where Simon Popescu was taken to. He was arrested yesterday at the factory gates. They say he was handing out pamphlets to the workers, but I call bullshit. Simon would never do that. He has three kids to take care of. Please help. This is a request. Where Simon Popescu was taken. He was arrested yesterday at the factory gates. They say he was handing out pamphlets. This wouldn't be Ministry of Order. This would be a Ministry of Patriotism? It's either patriotism or labor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and go with patriotism. Uh, 6.06 is closed. 6.45 is open. It was ordered. Fucking... Uh, blah, blah, blah. That's because we're starting conversation. I have to work 6 a.m. Christmas Eve? That's bullshit! This isn't going as well. No, it is not Beauty Pie. It is not at all. Uh, I've managed to split the atom in my own home. I'd like to donate my findings for the benefit of our state's scientific endeavors. Here's my paper mache motto of the atom. So you can see, I've split it up. What, uh, which office should I bring it to? Information, Science, and Technology, it would be uh, Office 78. Go away. Leave me be, never come here again, sir. Under work efficiency estimates for the fourth quarter of this year, they're in line with the goals set up by the Ministry of Labor. A 125% output increase, a 30% salary decrease, and a one hour increase of the working day. This would be information, la he di distinctly says labor, uh, and 212 is open. Go away. Does tomorrow afternoon count? I have to go out of town to drive a car back home. Desi, I read that as my my mouth tastes like monkey dick. Or monkey's dick. That's how I read that. I... Dyslexia is terrible. I need 300 wool calendars with pictures of the great leader for the upcoming year. They'll have a tremendous propaganda effect, uh, effect in our prison. He's making a request of patriotism, I think. Yeah, he says propaganda. 606 is closed. 646 is open. That too. Oh. We will look at that quote, Orange, and we will forever remember the time I thought Desi was talking about munching on monkey's dick. As is the way of the whatever. As is the way of my trade. What the fuck is Hawthorne Tincture? Hold on, I need to Google this. Hawthorne Tincture. What is this? Is used for diseases of the bl heart and blood vessels, such as congestive heart failure, chest pain, and irregular heartbeat. It also is also used to treat both low blood pressure and high blood pressure, hardening of the arteries, and high cholesterol. 
There we go. Now I know. I don't have a BRB screen. I mean, it's not really necessary most of the time. Most of the time. Most. Yeah, we'll go ahead and leave early, very early today, so that we can take care of a few things, because we have quite a bit of money. I need to follow up on this trader guy. Trader Joe's. I'm gonna spit my entire mouth out. I'm not having a good time. Uh, try placing a spoonful of either sugar or salt into your mouth, Desi. That should get rid of that taste. Who will be there? Oh, it's the manager. Hello, Evan. I don't suppose you've seen your downstairs neighbor's cat, have you? White, fluffy, affectionate? But the rules don't allow pets. You're not easily fooled. What do you mean? Can I trust you? Decide that for yourself. You look reliable. I suspect that your downstairs neighbor has a cat. I got that part, but you can enter my any apartment, right? Can't you check? I've checked many times, but he hides it well. Anyway, Evan, I just need a witness to say that they saw the cat. Why do you need one? Again, strictly between us, I have a friend who's ready to pay twice as much for the apartment. If you help me, I'll lower your rent. I give you my word. So, have you seen your neighbor's cat? Was there really a cat? Definitely. I swear on my mother's life, I heard it meowing myself. Guys, um, this guy's asking me a lie. It's asking me a lie to get ahead in life. Of course I'll do it. Yeah, less rent, exactly. In all honesty, i probably do it in real life. Be uh, To lie or not to lie? Be a fuck boy and take the lower rent. <laughs> I don't think there's actually a cat down there, be uh, Beauty Pie. Okay, I'll help you. Great, Evan. I knew I could count on you. I've already prepared everything. Sign here to test that you've seen a the cat with your own eyes. Yes, thank you so much. And what about... Everything is in due course, Evan. Camera Pullman, I need a surveillance camera. Can you help me? Why do you need a surveillance ca camera for? I don't have any cameras. Come on. Everyone knows that managers have cameras. This building is full of them. I'll sell you a camera, Comrade Redgrave, but you have to keep your mouth shut. Not everyone is as knowledgeable as you. For only 500? Yeah, I'll do it. This camera is top-notch. The picture is very clear and even has automatic focus. Thank you. Goodbye. Duke is the best fuckboy? Oh. I... You know, that's, sli that's slightly a hurtful comment because I remember uh, back uh, during my uh, earlier, like, high school uh, high school and middle school days, I quite literally was a fuckboy. <laughs> I, I, I was just like, hey, how's it going? I saw you look at me the other day. That means you want my dick, right? And they were just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? It was awful. Uh, let's go search for the merchant uh, that Marwitz mentioned. They're yeah, standing at the end of the Kruschweiss Street, in front of Lightman Square. The merchant Serena Marwitz mentioned somewhere around here. Several streets lead out from the square. The wind blows rubbish around the monument to quote for. 4537 of the wise leader. The few passers by try to hide from the drizzling rain and biting wind. The sound of music mingled with women's laughter and can be heard from the righteous restaurant. I have to cook. Cook well, beauty pie, and bring me something to eat, please. I'm dying. Weren't all high school boys like that? I suppose a lot were. 
not all of them. I I had I was friends with a lot of very socially awkward uh uh good guys, and also good guys. You know the ones that were like, man, I I held the door open for that girl. Why will she not suck my dick? And it's like. Do you want some pork and zucchini? I will gladly take that, yes. I wasn't, I barely talked to anyone. I'm glad I got out of that phase for my, uh, uh, junior and senior year, though. I ended up making a lot of great friends because of that. I'll shove it through my monitor. <laughs> Do it! Do it, just now! Beat it! Throw it! Throw it! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Banana cream rum. <laughs> it's it's a cure. Uh, let's go to the restaurant. Righteous is the place where the top ministers take a break from the troubles of government. Mere mortals can only look through the windows and witness just how hard these officials need to relax after doing their duty to the Netherlands. Pillar. Today, the junior medical staff orchestra of the district health department is performing a concert of patriotic music in the small hall of the large left outhouse building of the Central Municipal House of Popular Arts. Tickets have probably sold out already. How about the monument? The pigeons of Helma clearly appreciate quote 4537 of the leader. That is plain to see. getting drunk, I'm going to join some friends on rest and not walk. Jeff. You enjoy yourself, okay? Have fun. And yeah, banana cream is pretty damn good, and this is banana cream rum. It's a I just take a very quick sip whenever I want, whenever I have a quick craving for something sweet. Um, turn left. The people in alleys selling vegetables from suburban farms. Some people still believe that vegetables from a garden are healthier than the food set supplied by the Ministry of the Social Care. You try to find out where you can buy the things you need, but as soon as farmers realize that you don't want to buy vegetables, they stop paying attention to you immediately. The food stalls on the quiet street, their range of products differs little by the state-owned stores, but the origin of the goods means that buyers can haggle. Bookstore? You push the locked door several times without success. The great bread bricks in the counters don't even smell like bread. They say that bread like this is little more than sawdust and glue from the furniture factories. A fat salesman in a dirty robe stands over the empty counter. He looks bored as he tells you that all he has left is cat food. Sure. You go into a blind alley. You could go into a courtyard through the gateway, but this hardly looks like the place for doing business. There is only rubbish here. You wonder where it comes from in a time of such austerity. A huge black and white cat lies in the middle of the gateway like it owns the place. It greets you with a disgruntled hiss. It arches its back, bristles its tail, and yells, uh, yowls. I've never heard a cat yowl before. Okay. Quick sip the whole bottle. Uh, I will not be doing this. And Desi, if you are sleepy, go to bed. Feed the cat. The cat devours the food. Now you have a true friend in Helmer. Perhaps your only one. Purring after its lavish feast, the cat jumps into a narrow passage between the buildings which you hadn't noticed before. The passage leads you to a parallel street that you spot a man in a top hat. He introduces himself as Nathan Keller and is willing to trade. I need a bottle of whiskey. Nathan gives you a bottle. He advises you to never mix soda with single malt whiskey. 
I got my bottle. I'm sleepy but not tired. Oh, I see. Oh, I need to process that. Okay, let's go ahead and make the phone payment. I'm going to need a thousand mun muns by tomorrow. Oh no, well, yeah, a thousand mun muns, but I have 550 right now, so it probably won't be too, too bad. I'm not gonna go watching TV. At least not yet. Let me see. There we go, I now know how to pick crossbar locks. I will dedicate two hours into this, because I need my, I need to decrease the cost of water. It'll save me money in the long run. Why? Because I'm a cheapskate. Gosh, my ear is just super itchy right now. I am not sure what's up with that. I hope nothing... Yeah. Yeah. You ever just, like, have an itchy ear and then you feel as though something's crawling in your and you're like, Ah, no! I know what I'm doing after stream. Giving myself a... 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 a Faboxyl Hydrate wash in my ears. As is natural. As is natural. Whatever. Gossip in this game really just does not matter. Well, what do you want? Why are you looking so glum? Just the other day I was working responsibly as always, and when I accepted an application from this one citizen, he just thrust a bottle of liquor through the window as a thank you and left. No idea what to do with it. I don't drink. Mom doesn't allow it. Should I perhaps give it to Comrade Ferguson? He'll find it anyway. I'll take it to him. Thank you for helping me out, Evan. I'm a bit scared of him, to be honest. I don't know how to cure his cowardice. I got earworms like Spongebob? Oh no. Please, God, no. What's new? Nothing brag about, Evan. I'm short on money all the time, and my mother is always pestering me. Oh, it's this one. I like your idea. Uh, if he's rich, he can support you. I'm still eyeing up our colleagues, but I wouldn't bet on that option. You're married, and the rest aren't exactly Prince Charming. I'm trying to help you out, lady. I'll, g I'll get it soon enough. Gosh, I'm so grumpy. I should go buy chocolate and something and calm down. What you want? What you want? How would you like to improve your financial status? What are you talking about? Do you need the money or don't you? There's a nice and easy little job for you. You don't even need to leave. You don't even have to leave the ministry. What do I need to do? Listen up. Our colleagues are good people, but awful clients for my business. They prefer living clean and healthy. They refuse to smoke or drink, and they love their leader. I love the leader, too. Everyone loves the leader, but I've got a whole bunch, batch of drugs that shouldn't sit around here for too long, understand? And what's the problem? The problem is that our workaholic colleagues are afraid to try them. I need to tell them how just how beautiful the world looks after you're taking the dose. So should I put up flyers or what? You're close. As you know, my father is a big cheese in the coal business and he got me the job here, which means I'm under supervision. You're a whole different kettle of fish. You're not well known and you have an honest, trustworthy face. Like I'm one of those your father leader needs you posters. Talk to your colleagues. 
tell a couple of stories about how these vitamins improve your performance, potency, cup size, whatever. Vitamins? Vitamins, gummy bears, whatever it takes. Anything will do. I need a market, man, and I hope I can provide it. If anyone's interested, sell them the medicine and then send them on to me. Keep the money for yourself. Here you go. Go on. Okay. A profitable but deadly business. I could get him fired for this if I wanted to. I'm, I'm gonna do a quick save just to... Just to make sure. Leave, woman! There's so much sin here. You're telling me. Nah, nah. Listen, he's giving me a pretty good sum of money. I need him around. I need to make sure that when I move up, that this bitch stays underneath me, you know? Would you like a little something to help you to relax and lift your spirits? No thanks. That would get in the way of my work. Fair enough. But what you want? Would you like a little something to help you to relax and lift your spirits? No thanks, that would get in the way of my work. What you want? Okay, can't give him that either. Noted. I'll just have to find someone else. Emma might take it. You look tired, are you alright? Oh, this work is driving me crazy. I'm completely exhausted. Some of my friends recommend a kind of remedy. They say it helps in situations like this. What do you mean? I'm no expert, but it's something like an energy stimulant. Opens up your, the internal reserves, lifts your mood, gives you strength. What's it called? Where can I buy it? Well, you won't find it in a pharmacy, but I have some left I can share. Is it legal? Well, it's a light drug. So it's not completely legal, but you know how it is, a lot of things are banned, even green apples. It's not the same. Alcohol is also a light drug, but you still drink it, and it makes you throw up, gives you hangovers, and leaves a bad taste in your mouth. This gives you energy, puts you in a good mood. You feel like you can move mountains. Why am I trying to convince you? If you don't want it, suit yourself. I'll use it. Wait, just one dose won't hurt, right? I didn't I need to finish this report by evening, no matter what. Give me this stimulant of yours. Okay, that's one. Emma is a cute name. It really is. I had um I've had a couple of friends named Emma in my um my graduating class and they were they, they were just wonderful people. Time to just wait. Magda, are you helping out the House of Misfits? You talk a lot, Evan. This is very bad for you. And what is the House of Misfits? It was built as part of a national cleansing program to round up every child with disabilities and get it all over with once and for all. No person, no problem. All the sick, disabled, and crippled kids are gathered in one place, and everything possible is done to get them to die faster. There's no medicine, no care, there's even wood for heating. Why, why are you helping them? I won't answer any questions from someone who pokes his nose into other people's business without asking. I feel sorry for those children. If I can help with anything. First of all, never stick your nose into my affairs again. Second, I need food. Food? The children are starving. 
I had a look at their kitchen. There's only enough food there for another couple of days. If you can call frozen potatoes food, that is. I have a blank food voucher somewhere. Signed by the Ministry Minister of Social Care. But I just can't find it in the pile of papers. If I can pass it on to the House of Misfits, the children will be able to eat normally for months. Maybe I can help you look. Are you sure it's here? Absolutely. Oh, it's in the filing cabinet, isn't it? That's eight hours work, that be. All my bears used to be named either Ella or Ellie. Aww. That's cute. Redgrave, where have you been? Damn it, have you carried out my orders? Yes, Comrade Ferguson, everything's ready. Only the best, the freshest, and the least fancy, just as you ordered. Excellent. And find me a couple of girls too, and make sure they're open minded, let's say. What do you mean? You need to have balance. You've got a relaxing body as well as your mind. How about this? Get one leggy blonde, a natural one. Like one of those malls from the House of Patriotic Fashion. And the other one, exactly the opposite. A nice chubby one, so there's something to hold on to. Okay. What was my go-to bear name? Uh... Not bear, but my first stuffed uh, stuffed animal dog was uh, I named it uh, I named it George. Well, I guess I know two people that fit this description. Um, okay. Kind of lame, but okay. Oh, I see. Well, thanks for that, Desi. Okay. But I need to do some work here if I want to live. Single window, convenient, fast, reliable. The Complaints and Suggestions Office on Victoria Street uh, has implemented a single window system. Now all cash contributions and tip for the specialists of this office can be handed in via a single window, quickly and conveniently. If the experiment is considered successful, the single window system will be extended to all government offices. I have brought veterinary passports for all my kitties. Can I register cat therapy as a medical treatment now? Medical treatment? Yes, for lonely people. Administer one cat per year of solitude and the depression is gone. Where do I hand over the documents? I guess she has information. Uh, this would be for social care, I suppose. Dude, you got me. I don't know. Yeah, I guess social care. The Sunday for one is open. God damn it, it was a, a request. Frick. I also had me Melody, Lizzie, Harriet, Daisy. Just off the top of my head, the first pets I was allowed to name myself were Cece, Chigua, Emily, and the in that order. I'm the god of cool names, clearly. Uh, I got Wiggles and Nunu, Desi. Lola Thmin, the singer, caused a whole scandal after a performance on Railroad Worker Day. 
We invited her to our canteen. She took all the food with her, called us pathetic, and then she and the director of the House of Culture left together in his car. She should be punished for such thoughtlessness. I guess this would be denunciation and this would be culture and sports. 279 is open. I need more water. I ran out of water and now I'm dying. Help me! Hi, do you, do you have any jobs where I wouldn't need to do any work? I don't provide employment assistance. What do you want? I want nothing, but mom says it's hard for her to carry on pulling double shifts as a janitor. As if it's that hard to do an extra shift. What does she expect me to do? Ruin my nails? So do you have any jobs with zero workload? This would be a request of labor. 467 is open. I also used to have a guinea pig named Miss Gucci. Miss Gucci, okay. I used my shoe voucher at store number three. The shoes I bought have a quality stamp on the soles featuring the state coat of arms. Who thought to put a sacred symbol in such a place? People are trampling all over our coat of arms. The saboteurs must be found and punished. This will be a complaint of patriotism. 606 is open. Go for it. We had a guinea pig named Maniac, and we kept, and this was when we had no idea how you were supposed to raise guinea pigs, so we placed him in a cage with like three different males, uh, and he was the only one that lived. A broad description of my new invention, curling irons made from rifle ammo. All four, hey, this one again. Ugh. B. Science and technology. Of course, I could have sworn last time I chose science and technology and that was wrong, but I can't remember anymore. Nope, it was good. Oh, yeah. No, it was uh, very ironic and terrifying. A few days ago, another group of dead soldiers was buried in the city cemetery. As usual, one of the coffins was draped in the flag of our great motherland. But they forgot to remove it and buried it like that. I think everyone who allowed the burial of our symbol must be punished severely. This would be a complaint of patriotism. 871 is open. I'm sad now. I'm sorry, Desi. I did not mean to do this to you. I want to inform you that my brother-in-law is keeping forbidden books. I know for a fact that he reads them under a blanket with a flashlight. This will be denunciation. Since it's of a specific person. His name? Klaus Schimmer. He's wasting precious batteries on reading this crap. Even worse, his work is suffering because he's not getting enough sleep. Put an end to this. He's keeping books. Keeping forbidden books. I don't think it's order. Maybe it's social care? Bill School, uh, responsible for the distribution of social resources. Maybe not. Kirk is suffering because he's not getting enough sleep. It would actually be labor, though. Ugh. I'm sorry, Desi. Stop being heartbroken. It's o it'll be okay. I guess order. I can't think of what else this might be. Maybe culture and sports? Education in culture, arts, cinema, tourism, and sports. Uh, directives and laws, spying and public order violations. Ordinary citizens are not allowed to beat, kill, steal, or cause any kind of harm to others. I don't think it's order. I 
I don't know with this one. It won't be okay. Why? I don't know with this. I'm so confuzzled. Maybe either labor, social care, order, patriotism, uh, fuck if I know. We'll just go with social care and see if it works. 357 is open. Nope, it was order. Okay. Okay, noted. I think my compatriots are starting to forget what a great country they live in. What do you want? I want 30 flags to decorate my street and 10,000 to spend on patriotic decorations for the benefit of the population. This is a request of patriotism. 154 is open. Go for it, my friend. It will be okay, Desi. It'll be okay. Stop screaming. Tell me, how come you sp send all manner of whores to the resorts, but honest working women never get to go? What do you mean? At our factory, they only give resort vouchers to the pregnant ones. Everybody knows that these days, the only women getting pregnant are the whores who can't keep their lo legs together. Pregnancy is a natural process. It's only natural if everyone gets to be pregnant. Even though some of us have spent 30 years at this job routinely getting fucked, uh, what does it even matter? Just do something or I'll file a complaint against you too. Yeah, this would be a complaint. Of labor. 647 is open. Oh, or not. Or not. Okay, never mind. I'm going to cry. No. Hi, the management of our maternity hospital won't let nurses go to the solidarity and loyalty rallies. Just because it means leaving patients and labor unattended. I think that's treason. They can always pump out more kids, but attending rallies is the solemn duty of every true patriot. Complaints of patriotism, I guess. I'm gonna go to Mazar, I'm gonna... 6.45. No, 9.15. Yes. Hooray. I wish I'd get sent to a resort for being a whore. Yeah, you'd, you'd be in a resort every day for the rest of your life, Desi. Boom! Someone has graffitied the wall of our building. The culprit must be lined up against the same wall and shot. Have they besmirched the name of our glorious leader or disrespected our military ser victories? What? They drew the sun in some ducks. Rubber ducks. I blame the pants. You have to do something about this flagrant misbehavior. Flagrant? So this would be a complaint. Of order, I guess. Uh, huh. That was rude. I had to, Desi. I'm sorry. I had no choice. It had to be done. I guess this would be of order. Hey, I got it right. You know I love you, Desi. I'm sorry. Hi there, we're our factory's women's arm wrestling team. We'd like to enter the Reckham for the Leader tournament. Where do we sign up? Request. Yes, culture and sports. Seventy-eight, no, four oh four, yes. No, you don't. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. Hello, I spent three years knitting a portrait of our leader to decorate our entrance hall, and guess what? It was in tatters within a week. I've just been working so hard to remind people that the leader is always there for us. Find whoever did it and prosecute them. Complaint of order, I guess. 212 is open. 
Nope, it was, uh, oh fuck, actually, that one should have been a gimme. I'm not sure why I chose order. I have something urgent to report. Listen, I've witnessed a terrible future crime in progress. Go on. There's an apple tree closing to our, close to our building. So? So I was walking past it one day. And? And you of all people must know that the recent directive banning apples. Do you realize that what could happen? You have to stop this tree from committing a crime. So if I understand you correctly, you want us to arrest an apple tree. This apple tree is a criminal with heinous plans for future lawbreaking. Hurry up, we don't have much time. I guess this would be a denunciation? Of... Fuck if I know. Guess order. I am amazed I got that. That was confusing as shit. Hello, I have a complaint about the management of our factory. How come they won't let girls join the volunteer militias? The leader says women and girls must take the place of the men who have gone to war. But why don't we see that in practice? The state doesn't have enough faith in us. If we can lay down the law at our own homes, we can do the same on the streets. Go to sleep. Why? So this, yeah, this would be a complaint. She firmly states it. Management of our factory. Uh, so this would be a problem on labor. Four sixty-seven. There we go. Well, ha cha cha. Okay, well, that's all I got. That's all she wrote. You're sleepy? I'm a little out of it. Just a little, though. I want to go at least 30 minutes more. You know, I try to at least he hit that two and a half hour mark. Hi, Serena. What's new? Anything good going on today? As if. What happened? That damn vending machine is what happened. They put those male monsters everywhere. As if they can make buns as delicious as mine. Your buns are the best. I'm sure your clientele isn't going anywhere. So it already has. Every night I look at my sales figures and weep. A couple more weeks like this and I'm done. That's serious, eh? If someone broke that damn thing completely, I'd shower him with gold. That's how serious it is. So what do you say? Help Auntie Serena and make a little dough? I never liked that vending machine either. Deal. Thank you so much, sweetie. I'll never forget it. But really, do your best, alright? I've heard the only irreplaceable parts of that machine is the reactor. Bring it to me and the money's yours. I guess I'm doing this thing. Why do I make bad decisions? Um. Is it just a Desi thing? There's the cover of power unit in the machine's casing. It's fastened with four screws. You will need a screwdriver to remove the cover. Of course I will. Okay, maybe next time. I, I could listen to this gossip. I came in on my day off to send a letter to my boss. Is it that important? Nah, it's nothing. But I want him to see that I'm working. I need another Desi and make Desi's bad decisions so I don't have to. What a great day. What do you mean? 
Wait, we're going with Mesa? You'd like to relax and cheer yourself up a bit? What do you have in mind? Nothing special. Yeah, here's what we'll do. On the bridge by the exit of the lobby, there's a flower pot. There's a fence by the pot. But you're nothing special behind the stone sphere. In return, I'll put, m I'll put money. For the bridge, he says. Okay. I'm down. Tell me about the stimulants. I talk about them. It's bare about them. I'll give you the stimulants. I wrap my own on my own people. Well, we're working for the same person, I'm pretty sure, so. I wish someone would give me stimulants. I can give you all of the stimulants, Desi. Hi. How about getting some relaxation? What do you mean? I heard that one could get some pills here. Just vitamins, but very effective ones. Interested? Is it legal? Please. Alright, alright. That'll be 500 dosh. I'll leave the pill in the bust of the leader at the office exit. But the money, uh, put the money there. We're not going to have any issues, right? Right. Oh crap! Oat! I didn't do anything. The detector went off. We have to conduct a search. Citizen, you've been found in possession of a prohibited item, which in our country warrants the severest form of punishment. Wait, can we come to some sort of arrangement? Sure we can. We have a special arrangement of a thousand dosh. As it's your first offense, we'll let you off with a warning. Next time, we won't be so generous. Is this oh ho, ho, yes okay I realize like I realized that that was going to happen right as I was going up to the thing I went oh shit uh, but uh, it didn't turn me around in time an escort to the camera in Ferguson's office the stimulants in the sphere next to the plant in the pot in this in the sphere next to the plant in the pot that one okay There he is. We ran past pot. It was that pot. It's 500, all right. Then put the stimulant in the bust. What bust? This one. I didn't take a screenshot. I didn't take a screenshot. Whatever. Desi, shh. A stimulant in my bust. I can put a stimulant in your bust, Desi. I'm just being stupid by this point. There it is. Oh, 
off he goes. I got, I got the 500. Okay. Doesn't say I have to go talk with him. I'll check though. I'll check to make sure. No. Okay. Oh, you want? Hi, Marco. I need two girls who'd agree to do anything. It's urgent. Man, me too. Let me know if you find any, okay? I'm serious, Ferguson. Uh, Ferguson told me to find him a couple of women for the evening. So that fat pig has decided to go hog wild, eh? Will you help me or not? All right, Redgrave. Marco Legrand will save you and free of charge for the record. But in return, you tell me everything that goes on in Ferguson's office. Down to the smallest detail, deal? Do you think Ferguson's going to let me stay in the office while he's having his fun? Or should I buy, bug the place? Can you do that? Marco, just kidding, here you go, and don't forget my kindness. Oh, that, there's an actual boob drawn on that, okay. I don't feel so good. Is it because you're super duper tired and also because you haven't been eating healthy, Desi? There we go. We're good this time. Probably. More than likely, if I had to guess. Whole bunch of bills. Let's see them. Well, I gotta pay these two. Blue bill, communal repairs bill, cable TV, laundry payment. Pay for those two. I can hold off the laundry payment till tomorrow. Again, you should try getting some sleep, Desi. I can't Call the phone. I'm listening. I'm listening. Sorry, I have a business card here, and well. Darling, why are you mumbling like a third grader who snuck into the women's bathroom? Speak faster, this is money. I need a girl. Well, two actually. All men go through this at a certain age. Can you help me? Of course I can. You wouldn't be calling the number otherwise. Where are you, sweetheart? I'll meet you at the entrance of the to the ministry. Oh, so you're a special boy. I love working with boys like you. Ciao, see you soon. Have to work tomorrow, so probably, yeah. Yeah, please get some sleep, Desi. If you need it, please go do it. Look around the building. I have no reason to go over there. New episodes on TV? Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, do that. Now it's time to do a little bit of reading. I feel sick, I don't wanna. Oh, Desi. And there we go. I have a discount on my water supply now. I believe the water bill actually comes in tomorrow. Woohoo!
He's them? Guess so. Don Juan. Oh my goodness. Hello, my darling, you called. Who are you? I'm the one who can make your every fantasy come true. Not me personally, of course, though you are cute. No, thank you. So what'll be handsome? You call me some emergency sexual services? Yes, I'm calling about two girls. Only two? Honey, I'm disappointed in you. Just two girls for such a handsome, strong boy? Two's all I need. Well, not me personally, but... Oh, sure, sweetie. It's for a friend, I know. Anyway, two is enough. Have it your way. Choose whoever you like. Then we'll talk the details. I'm Leedith. Edith? Leedith. I can love you like my parents love the leader. Oh. Remember my name, Violetta. Everyone always leaves with a smile on their face. I'm Angelina. Choose me and I'll show you heaven. I could show you that Pierre Pleasure has a name and that name is Emilider. That's an exotic name. Not at all silly. It's the most patriotic name there is. Hi, I'm Olympia. I love physical exercise, some more than others. Maybe we can work up a sweat together. Okay. Well, he uh, he wants Leedith for one. And I think either Violetta or Angelina will work for the second one. Leedith and Violetta. Leedith and Violetta. Are you sure? Yeah, let's go with these two about the money. Don't worry, darling. I know how it all works. The girls will go down in the books as hired freight handlers. I've already sent the bill to your accountants. You have a nice time, you rascal. Comrade Redgrave, Comrade Ferguson wants to see you. Shouldn't keep him waiting. You called? Ah, uh, Redgrave, what the hell do you think you're doing? Trying and drugs right under my nose? The Grand told me everything. What do you have to say for yourself? Stimulants increase productivity. Workers can meet their quotas in half a day. So what do they do for the rest of the day? Lay, up, lay about. But you can double the workload. So they'll work more for the same money? Am I your business acumen? Selling stimulants was Legrand's idea. That dog thought he could fool me. Ferguson, and earn some cash? Well, that's that. I'll take over the drug business and throw Legrand under the bus. Ooh. I just got Legrand fired. Actually, he may be dead. Dear friends, when we look forward, we see the incredible future of our country. The fantastical views of the beautiful, magnificent world that awaits us can be seen by an honest, working, and patriotic citizen. This is why we have to burn away those who want to distract us from this dream. Those who replace dreams of the future with empty fantasy. Those who distract citizens from our great cause. Naive dreamers and their accomplices have no place among us. Only hard and selfless work for the good of our motherland will lead us to the vision we see. Glory to our great state, peace and prosperity to our collective great motherland. Happiness, health, 
and well-being to every one of you. Hurrah! It should be illegal to be cold. Probably. Oh, is he only getting a beat? Oh, that's a chopping block. And that's an axe. Not the strongest of guards, is he? Should be in the lost and found now. No. I think I'll just spend today, um, Fuck if I know. Where's Dong? Where's he at? There he is. Well, what do you want? You know, I've started watching the Patriot Adventures. It's a cool show. I know, right? I haven't missed a single episode. I just don't get it. Why is it called the Patriot Adventures when all they do is sit around and talk about who's the best Patriot? What about the adventure part? That's just the beginning. Then they all get arrested. It gets really cool. Good. Keep watching. Oh, now I see. Okay. What happened? You want to talk? I need your pills. I don't have them right now, but I can bring them later. Okay, but please hurry. I really need them. Oh, she be hooked. And they're going miss Okay, eight hours of searching. Let's do this. Just waste away the day. Foreign currency, you say? That's doing there. Well, I'll go ahead and grab it for now. What you want? That's two thumbs and an excellent eye for detail. This guy. I found the voucher. Excellent. Now none of them will die of hunger. But there's a more serious problem. A lot of the children have diabetes and need insulin, and nobody in the House of Misfit cares. I bribed the staff. They gave the children injections in secret. But now there's a problem with the drug itself. What happened? The National Cleansing Program has been declared complete, so they no longer bother manufacturing insulin. It's impossible to bring it in from abroad. They search for contraband medicine more actively than they search for explosives. What? What am I to do now? The underground labs I worked with have been under a lot of pressure lately. 
I've learned that there's insulin in one of them, but I can't go myself. I might be followed. What do you need from me? Meet with the right person and arrange some deliveries. I'll take care of the rest. Can you handle that? Where and when will the meeting take place? You know the old river port on the outskirts of the city? The lab is around there somewhere. That's a very vague description. Unfortunately, that's all I have. My man said that if we need insulin, we'll find it. And we really need insulin, Evan. And I'm going miss her. I like her. Knock, knock. What are you doing? Comrade Ferguson. I know my own name. Get to the point. Have you done what I asked? Yes, sir. I found a pair of beauties just as you requested. I can't wait to meet you. Well, they're only human. This might just be your luck their lucky day. I could be quite kind once I've eaten. Everything is ready for the party. Time to have fun. I ready to have fun, Redgrave. Let's light the dance floor. I was born ready, Comrade Ferguson. Sometime later. Hi, Evan. I bet you were expecting the kind of low rent affair a bunch of miners might put together, eh? <laughs> Pete Ferguson doesn't do small, remember that. I spent a lot of time on preparations. For example, this time, I thought long and hard about the theme of the party. And what were the options? At first I wanted to have a cemetery theme, but quickly thought better of it. Shovels, corpses, talking skulls, and donkeys are of course funny. That damn thing. But we need something lively for a party. Do you get it? Haha. <laughs> this time over hedgehogs, what? Then I thought about the fight club. Picture it, fighting, blood, teeth on the floor, women squealing into line, tearing off their clothes. Sounds interesting. Why'd you change your mind? Turns out that no one here knows how to fight. The policy only know how to beat people and civilians only know how to lie there and whine about it. We already see that every day on our way to work, right? So today we're just going to party hard. A sea of alcohol, drugs, and Viagra in the drinks are bound to have some impact. Someone's definitely going to lose their shit. And we'll have to good laugh about it. What do you think? Do you like the idea? It's amazing. Very cool. You bet. Just wait and see. It'll be a mayhem. What are you just stand there for, Redgrave? Have a look around. Talk to people. Convince them to do something crazy. I want this place to get crazy, you know? What exactly do you want? Last year, three drunken strippers drowned in a bath full of red caviar. Someone confused the main safe for a port port loo So I had to order a new one. The year before, we pumped some dwarves full of helium and shot frozen chickens at them from a big slingshot. <laughs> we fed the people, so to speak. Just don't repeat our mistakes by bringing a goat to the party. Those stupid animals don't differentiate between bosses and the rest of the riffraff. They hit by everyone just the same. Anyway, Evan, I expect you to breathe some life into the party. Let's set this place on fire. You can take that literally if you have to. Oh, that is fucking going on right there. Hey you, yes, yes you. Please bring me something to drink. I've been dancing non-stop and no one will even give me a glass of water. Help me, I need water so much. She, she needs some vodka is what she needs. 
Hedge, he Hedge God made me cry. Okay. What is this, vodka? I have so many different pills in my alcohol will finish me. That alcohol will finish me off. You've killed me, you bastard. Burn in hell for that. Worst of all, I'm dying to this pop song. Where's the rock and roll, damn it? Well. You know what to do with these pills? What pills? Comrade Ferguson gave us red and blue pills and said, Choose between the painful truth of reality and the blissful uncertainty of illusion. How did you remember? How did you manage to remember that? I just took some other pills before that. So what should we do? Uh, what should we take? I really want Comrade Ferguson to notice us. Who knows? Maybe he'll give us a promotion. Go with reality. It's time to come back to reality, guys. There's nothing good here for anyone. He's right. We've been coming to these parties year after year, and there are never any promotions, only humiliations. That's true. Let's go home before we dance ourselves to death. Ah, oh, whoops. I was hoping some crazy shit would happen off of that. Hey, pal. Give me a light, eh? I stole a cigar from the boss's desk. I've already, I've always wanted to try one. Why are you all wet? And you smell like... Comrade Ferguson organized a contest called Who Can Have Sex in a Barrel of Whiskey? Well, we won. Wow. How was it? Not as good as it sounds. Everything is burning. Everywhere. Still, well, you know. But most importantly, we won, and now we'll definitely get that promotion. Enough questions. I don't know about you, but I always want to smoke after sex. So will you give me a light or not? Sure. You think that's a good idea? Ah. I wonder if this is what Comrade Ferguson meant when he said, let's set this place on fire. Hey, Red Grave, want to make a toast? Everyone will be listening. Here's the microphone, but it's not free, you know? But Comrade Ferguson will definitely hear you. To come. Mm. Do we suck ass to him? We want that promotion. Let's drag to the man with the capital F. To the one who, whose work continues to break profit, profitability records in a place where no profitability was planned at all. To the one who never ceases to amaze us with his incredible ideas and amazing parties. To the one for whom we would gladly die, especially dancing. To the one and only, inimitable, and unbefreakalievable cool comrade Ferguson. Hurrah! That was Evan Redgrave, everyone. Hey, Evan, get your tongue out of the boss's ass crack and give us that microphone back. I never set up that camera. Talk to someone else who can still put two words together, Redgrave. I want unbridled fun and wild laughter. Who else can I even talk with? Oh. Hey, shh, beautiful gentlemen. Come, you turn me and my colleague over. We feel so bad. How did you get so drunk? They warned me that you can't drink everything here because it's all a lie. Now I have vomit everywhere, and my friend has a boner. I'll drown in my vomit and lose my dignity. What dignity are you talking about? Someone's drawn genitals on your face. I did that myself so that nobody would try something worse. Help, 
Oh, I'm dying. <sighs> I'll turn you and your colleague over. Otherwise, you really will choke to death. You're a real savior. Thank you. I set two people on fire and killed a hooker. That should be enough for him. We'll live in the part we'll live by itself. Don't worry. Sooner or later, everyone will fall asleep right where they're standing. Let's see how you go get it on. Good job. You have things up and did a lot of ugly, shameful things that we can reminisce about later. Respect, man. I think I can trust you to organize the next party. Congratulations. You can safely say that you're in good stand with Comrade Ferguson himself. Sounds like me, to be honest. Able to put anything away? Perfect. I have to go back to what's your face some other time. Emma, that's her name. Emma. I have to go back to Emma some other time. Because I have no time. Who wants a thousand for them, too? Lullaby make me sleepy. I'm afraid I can't do that. I have no talent in these sorts of things. Complete the current action. There we go. Time to go. Get my eyes. Uh, we'll just leave. Well, okay. I'm not good at lullabies, Desi. I, I'm not good at singing. It's just not a thing I'm good for. That's all there is to it. I'm bad. Is at the door. Hey, it's uh, Mr. Building Man. Hello, Evan. Have you heard anything about the Patriotic Lottery? Buy a ticket, kill a Borean? Yes, I read about it in the newspaper. What about it? We decided to buy tickets for the whole building. Are you in? What will you do with the winnings? With the what now? It's a lottery. Shouldn't there be prizes? Ah, that, uh, there's a certain amount due. Uh, we'll split it evenly, but we're not doing it for the money. We want to support the wise leader, so are you with us? We're collecting fi- Okay, sure, here's 50. Yes, here's the money. Excellent, I know- I knew you were a true patriot. Don't forget about it if the ticket wins. Young man, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you could do for your country. Well said, did the great leader say that? No, some guy called Kennedy, but you don't know him. He's not from Helmer. I won't waste any of your time. Okay, goodbye. I'd sing a lullaby if you were Desi. But would you sing a lullaby to me if I was tired, Duke? Yeah, would ya? Would ya? Okay, 
and laundry payment. Okay, we're still in a good spot. Let's go ahead and watch one episode of uh, The Patriot Adventures. That was it. Maybe on a good day. Let's see. Okay, and let's learn to hack better terminals. Time to sleep. Oh, I can uh, report that he's dead and I get a little bit of uh, influence because of that. I guess I'm down. Why not? So his stuff should be on here, right? Yeah. Task is completed. I did it. Find something that will make Don more communicative. There's a vending machine. Find the scientists in the port. I have to find some time for that. I gotta do at least a little bit of work today. At least. And Emma is apparently an addict, so I should probably help her out. Probably. Maybe. A little. I need to buy a screwdriver at some point, too. That would probably be helpful. Peter, I watched the, an episode of Patriot Adventures where all the Patriots were sent to jail and tortured, but they hadn't done anything wrong. Wait, of course not, a Evan. If they'd actually done anything wrong, they would have been executed instead. But they were arrested by their own people. What kind of patriots would they be if they'd been captured by the Boreans? That would make it the traitor adventures. Oh, now I get it. But you what? I still have nothing to help you, my man. I should just be able to search this. There's all my stuff. Again, I'll probably get those to her eventually. Eventually, maybe. Is there a new person working here? Looks like it. Employee 962, name Carl. Excuse me, I have to get back to work as per official instructions. Well, okay then. Let's go ahead and break into Emma's place. Brochure called 30 Ways to Talk. An inscription on the first page reads there are only 21 in the book. 30 just sounds better. Security cameras caught my theft. <laughs> but what if I store it?
Well, I want to go see how this goes. Oat. I didn't do anything. The detective went off. We have to conduct a search. The security camera have picked up a misappropriation of property. Article 920, paragraph 2, breaking and entering. A fine of 400 for each stolen item or correctional labor in the mines for a period of 10 years. As it's your first offense, we'll let you off with a warning. Next time, you won't be so gen we won't be so generous. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, shit. I'll actually allow this one because uh, that does ta the that does teach me that there are cameras that I gotta look out for that I don't know about. So that's actually okay. I'll take that. All right. I suppose this should just be a work day. I don't really have anything else that can be done. So, instead of starting up the work day, I'm going to wait until tomorrow night to do that because it is getting late and I have a party I gotta go to tomorrow. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream here. So, thank you everyone that showed up. It was nice having you all. You were also very nice today. It was really refreshing. So let me go ahead and toss you guys over at somebody. Who would toss you guys at, though? I'll just do the usual toss you guys at Tolomeo. He's doing some smash. I'm sure it'll be fun. Uh, but yeah, you all have a good night. Remember, do not text and drive. Do not drink and drive. 10, 2 people, 10 and 2. And happy days and sunshine ahead. I'll see all of you guys later. Have a wonderful night. Bye, everyone.